One of the more exciting shows that we shot this season was our Great Lake show on the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. And up there, whitefish is king. Our day of fishing was a lot of fun. We got a lot of whitefish. It was a little harrowing. Here in Minnesota, just a stone's throw from Michigan, the shore lunch, the fish fry, is one of the classic sort of Midwestern meals. Now, rather than doing a sandwich, I'm doing this as a dinner or lunch course sans bun, but you wanna put it on a bun, you go right ahead. The first thing that we need to do is start with four or five ounce fillets of super fresh Lake Superior whitefish. We have heavily seasoned flour here with lots of salt and pepper in it. And I have a pot with a thermometer. It's set for 360, 365 degrees. Check your thermometer. When you put cold ingredients into hot oil, it drops the temperature. So you wanna make sure that you're always frying with hot oil. And the process is really very simple. Seasoned flour, a little shake, egg. And then of course, in true Midwestern style, I'm using Ritz cracker breadcrumbs, and then into the frying oil it goes. Now these fillets are about three quarters of an inch thick. They'll take five, six minutes in the fryer. This first batch will rest for a little while and will still be hot after I'm done frying the second batch. So even though we have seasoned flour on this, one of the key moves is seasoning these fillets with a really nice finishing salt. Just like pasta, gently agitate the pieces of fish in there so that you make sure they're not sticking together and they're cooking evenly. So while those are cooking, I can make a version of coleslaw that is my grandmother's recipe. I've fiddled around with it a little bit, but I've taken sliced cabbage and I've sprinkled it with a teaspoon or two of salt and I've let it sit there for like five or six hours and then I squeezed all the moisture out of it and I'll season it with fresh parsley, shallot, mustard powder, celery seed, some carrot, some thinly sliced celery, some sugar, and some mayonnaise. Now the nice thing about mixing this right before you serve it is that the cabbage is already cured, so it'll have that fantastic coleslaw texture. And by the time we're done with that, this last batch of our whitefish filet is done. Look at that perfect golden brown. You know how I love my pie tins. Homemade tartar sauce, recipes on the website. A few pieces of fish there. Put a little mound of the coleslaw. And that, my friends, is a Lake Superior Shore lunch of perfectly fried whitefish.